G'day guys and welcome back, Razzini16 here and I'm here of course to bring you oh, another Viewers 11 as you can tell by already by the screen we are on. Have got a very nice team today, something a little bit different. Now I got sent only a player rather than a team and got asked to build a squad of my choice around them. That player in fact was Frank Ribery, absolutely insane player, dirt cheap this year compared to what he's been in previous years. 87 pace, 91 dribbling, 84 passing, 5 star skill, 4 star weak foot, high attacking work rate. He's an insane card, only thing I'm worried about is his physical isn't the greatest, he might get bullied out of it a lot. But I'm going to show you guys the team I built around him and this is it. Rather than going for a league, I went for a nation, I made a really nice French team around him. So, for those of you who don't know already, we got Lacazette and Bia Biani up front with him. Absolute pace pause and insane players in themselves and like that's actually got the four star skill as well and Bibiani's only got three stars so also pretty skillful front three as you go into this midfield it starts to get real sweaty in the fact of we've got Dimitri Payet four star skill four star weak foot high attacking work rate and his card you can just see is all around awesome Pogba probably my favorite French player there is in this game four star weak foot four star skill move high attacking work rate and look at his card it's absolutely mental Heard really, really good things about him. Haven't played with him yet, so I'm really keen to jump in and do it. Other centre midfield is Valbuena. I have played with him before, and I have played with him in previous FIFAs, and he's been absolutely sick, so I'm expecting a lot of him. As we hop into the back line, we've got the usual Clichy and Koscielny. They've been in about a billion other ones, so I'm not going to bother mentioning them. Other centre back is Matthew. I couldn't decide between him and Varane, but we've already used Varane before, so I wanted to use someone different, and that is Matthew. Good defending, good physical, and a pretty good pace, so he should make a good defence, uh, a good centre back alongside Koscielny. On his other side is Matthew Dubushi, who will probably be leaving Arsenal in this January transfer window. Really, really nice card. He's really good for the use of um, corners when you kick it to the outside of the box and shoot it in. He loves a good long shot, and he's an absolutely insane defender as well. In goals, we've got Hugo Lloris, one of the best goalkeepers in the BPL. Insane card, 88 reflexes, 86 diving, 81 positioning. He's going to be a damn good goalkeeper. So I'm going to hop in with this game, uh, with this team, do the usual five games, and I'll see you guys either after three games if I think changes need to be made, or after five games. So enjoy the highlights. Bro. I've got a question. If you'd hear me out, out in your defense, you never had a chance. And so tell me straight. I won't go This is our time now I'm sure Make no mistake That we are Closer than we're far Embrace I've got a question If you'd hear me out, out In your defense, you never had a chance And so tell me straight, I won't go This is our time now, I'm sure Make no mistake that we are closer than we're far
This is our time now, I'm sure. Make no mistake that we are closer than we're far. Embrace for impact. Fight your fears far. I'd like to also apologize for the fifth game. I forgot to hit the record button on my recorder, so I didn't manage to pick up any of the highlights for that game, unfortunately. Um, we did go and win 4-1, I believe. Ribery picked up a hat trick, and I believe it was Lacazette that may have got the other goal. Um, but yeah, that's it was a pretty dominant game. I probably deserved to get a few more goals, but yeah. It happens. Um, sorry for not having the uh, highlights, guys. I apologize a million times over. Didn't hit the stupid bloody button, but promise won't happen in the future. But we're going to take you to the end of the All right, guys. So that does bring the five games to a close. Now, because I did this squad builder more so around the player Rebury than the actual team itself, I'm only going to touch briefly on the team, and then I'll talk more in depth about Rebury. Now, this team was absolutely insane. I definitely recommend going out and spending the money, but at the same time, it is going to cost you a hell of a lot with the likes of Pogba and the Ribery card. But other than that, this team was absolutely insane. Um, only thing I can fault was the defense. They were out of position a lot of the time. I conceded a lot of goals I shouldn't have. 
Midfield, midfield, very, very strong, very enjoyable to play with. They were so much fun. And when you got the midfield and strike force that you do, you know you're going to do some damage against the team. As I say that, we move up to the strike force. You've got Lacazette, Bia Biani, and Frank Ribéry. Now, these guys are absolutely insane. Out of the five games, I did win four and lose one. But as you'll see by the highlights, I probably maybe deserve to at least draw that 3-1 loss as what I found with this team was they created a lot of opportunities. However, they also failed to score a lot of the opportunities. I did happen to smash a few people, but at the same time, I went into friendly online uh, online single matches rather than the seasons. I just thought I'd change up for a bit. And obviously came along amongst um, a lot of the Christmas players who only just have started FIFA, but we absolutely smashed them. And to be honest, I reckon we deserved at least 11 or 12 more goals in the highlights. That's how much we dominated them. And as we go into the stats, I'm going to show you guys in a bit for Bibiani, he got three goals, three assists. Lacazette got four goals, two assists. And Frank Ribery got four goals, two assists. Now, again, as you guys will see in the highlights, Frank Ribery creates a ton of chances. He misses a lot of them, probably has to do with the fact he has 77 shots. But the thing is, he creates so many chances, he's bound to score some. Four goals, two assists. I reckon he deserved about 10 goals, five assists. It was absolutely insane how many opportunities I missed, but considering you can pick him up for 43k, I'm definitely going to say go ahead and buy him. He's definitely worth it. If it was like the previous FIFAs where he was worth 100 to 250k, then I would say you're stretching it a little bit. There's a few other players I'd get before him who were better, but considering you can pick him up for 43k, which is cheaper than the likes of Marco Royce and that, I recommend going and getting him because he's an insane player. He creates opportunities. He's a little lightning bolt breaking through the defensive lines. It's absolutely insane. The only thing I can fault him on is his finishing. I had so many more opportunities than what is on the highlights, but he definitely deserves to score a lot more goals, but nothing you can do about it. But that is going to be my summation of him. But that is going to complete today's episode, guys. Um, please leave comments in the below for a team for me to do tomorrow as I don't have one lined up. But as for now, that is going to be it from me. So thanks very much for coming along and watching, guys. I'll hopefully see you guys in future episodes. Thanks very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And